one. All right, thanks for joining everybody. Today on the phone, we have the Professor Lee Cummings of the infamous book series, The Negro Question. And I hope that people out there have took the time to look at The Negro Question. We have a seven book series. Is that correct, sir? Seven books? Uh, more like 12, 13. So you hear that, people? The series just keeps going. So we have you on the phone. We have your bookstore open over here. If people want to reach the bookstore, you can type in the Negro Question Bookstore on Google. You put spaces between it, it's still going to come back as the same site. You go over here, and this is the bookstore. All right, Lee, I want to say anything, uh, open up, introduce any of your uh, achievements. Uh, you know, uh, I used to, when I first started out, I, played, I was playing pro basketball overseas in Venezuela. And I'm down in Australia. Uh, I, I received a degree in accounting from Chicago State University. Went to grad school, didn't finish. Uh, that for the CPA exam. Uh, and I started writing books in 2011. And uh, you know, outside of that, you know, that's what I've been doing for the last 10 years, writing books for, it, uh, uh, for the people. Right on. What are we doing today? I heard you got something new. Yes, I do. I just uh, uh, we just published uh, uh, the Negro Question Paleo Hebrew Dictionary, and it's uh, it's a dictionary that's written in uh, English uh, and uh, with its uh, uh, Hebrew Paleo Hebrew uh, counterpart. It's written in a uh, the structure that was used as a concordance. A to Z. Uh, it has uh, validated artifacts from uh, major museums around the world. Uh, Shekels, uh, uh, seals uh, with the kings of Israel and Judah's names on it in Paleo Hebrew. Uh, but what's significant and what's special about this dictionary, that is also special. But what's uh, equally special is that it's two books in one. The second part of the book, the dictionary, is uh, I received a patent. To teach, uh, I developed a four step process to teach people or students how to read, write, and translate uh, Paleo Hebrew from the ancient stones, Dead Sea Scrolls, and manuscripts. And uh, that's the second book that uh, that's attached to this book. So there are two books in one. That's great. And, uh, that is, that's the latest thing uh, right now to Negro Question Book Store. All right. Well, I'm going to look over this real quick since, you know, I can't trust that everybody knew this existed before. I know some viewers knew it existed. First book that it has the, up there, the five books of the law written by Moses, right? A company, a, a, pardon me, it's going to, a companion to the Negro Question book series. The next book he has is the, oh, it's the set, the entire Negro Question book series. All right, and then next to that, we have the Negro Question, the Paleo Hebrew Dictionary. This is the paperback uh, uh, inside, uh, excuse me, paperback edition. And by clicking on this, we have the ability to look inside. Also down here, we scroll down to the bottom. Now, uh, we have the Negro Question Paleo Hebrew Dictionary hardcover. All right, and there's a price for 300. Now, I'm very familiar with a lot of these books. Um, Mr. I think it's Mr. Cook had sent me a few of these books. I think he sent all of them to me. And then uh, I got so into this book series, I had to buy the seventh seal myself. Mm. By chance, you want to mention anybody, anything on that? Uh, might inspire anybody that might be new to the channel, didn't know that your books existed? I'll tell you this, you know, each, uh, the, book, the book series was designed to take the reader 
uh, from one con one level of consciousness to the next. Like the first book I wrote was uh, the Negro Question, Who Am I? That was sort of uh, the, the beginning uh, for the what we call the newbie in, uh, in Israel. He didn't know he was Israel. So after he read this book, Who Am I? It was an uh, it's an identity piece. Uh, the second book was the African slave ships that came from Judah, and it shows uh, one of the highlights of that book is. There's a map on the front cover, dated to 1747, that calls the slave code Kingdom of Judah, which proves that every Negro that came uh, by way of the North Atlantic slave trade was a Judean. Uh, the third book was uh, here, uh, I think it was the Black Pentecost. And uh, that book I showed that everybody that showed up to Jerusalem on the day of Pentecost were all black people. Uh, the fourth book, part four, is called, it is called uh, The Missing Link. And uh, The Missing Link is so unique, and, uh, and what makes it unique is that uh, it proves that uh, there were black kings all over Europe, and that uh, King James was a Hebrew himself, he was a Jacobite. No one's ever been called a Jacobite but an Israelite. And King James and his supporters were called Jacob White. Right? That book has a, a ship's manifest and an eyewitness account uh, from uh, John Mackey, a former C uh, Secret Service agent for Queen, uh, Queen Sophia, and uh, two other kings that I, uh, whose names I forget, but he gives, uh, he gives an eyewitness uh, account of who the Jacobites look like. You've got to get that book. The fifth book uh, I wrote was called uh, Joseph in the 12th Dynasty of Egypt. This book is unique well because I, well, I use a timeline uh, to locate Joseph in the 12th Dynasty of Egypt. I also uh, uh, named, I named in that book the two pharaohs that promoted him, Amen, uh, Pharaoh Amen and Hat II and Pharaoh Sensuit II. Uh, at, at 12th Dynasty, Joseph sat on the throne around 1913 BC. You can validate that. Uh, that book also features uh, the 18th dynasty of Egypt and the pharaohs, and all the pharaohs that had the last name Moses, beginning with I Moses, Ka Moses, and Tut Moses I, who was the pharaoh of the Exodus. It's a lot. Okay. Uh, the sixth book is uh, uh, The 13 Black Colonies. And this is a very unique piece because if this book uh, relies on the eyewitness account, and untampered artifacts to prove that the original colonies of the 13 British colonies were black Scots, black German, uh, and black Welsh. And it's proven in this book that I have not had a Gentile or European scholar to try to refute. Uh, book number seven, book number seven, I call the Swarthy Memoir because this book is based solely on the eyewitness account. And it shows that a lot of the generals uh, and uh, uh, all the, uh, there were four or five armies present at Yorktown, at the Battle of Yorktown. And there was an eyewitness account by Private uh, Floor, F-L-O-H-R. And he described all the bodies that, uh, that lay on the battlefield at Yorktown as being mourned or more and more than that in a medieval time meant black. Now, we finally made it down to the seventh seal that the brother was talking about. The seventh seal uh, follows Bible prophecy uh, to show you those events that have to take place prior to uh, Yeshua, the Messiah, coming back to uh, planet Earth, commonly known as Jesus. And uh, it's a real good piece. I wrote that. And what's unique about that book is I wrote that book in three languages. It's written in French, Spanish, and in uh, English, so you get three, it's written in three columns, three different languages per page. Did I get anything? No. All right. And then uh, I published two Bibles. The one was uh, Moses. Uh, the first Bible that I published ever was for the five books of the law written by Moses. And then there was a second one that was written called uh, From the Last King of uh, uh, no, from Samuel to the last king of Judah. Did I miss anything? And then now we got what? Uh, we had two books. I'll tell you this. I had two books that I wrote in my infancy. They didn't do too good. <laughs> uh, what was it? Uh, the first one was called, what was that book? 
I don't even remember the two. But I got two books that I wrote in my infancy that did they did not perform. Uh, so now the label piece. Uh, this is a brand new book. If you guys have some time, take a moment out of your time, go to the bookstore because what we're pushing right now, we we people have people have been made of uh, creating and writing dictionaries. I think the first recorded dictionary was in between 1630 and 1650. Prior to that, according to the historian, there was no such thing as a dictionary. Everything this dictionary right here, the Hebrews, we have our own dictionary now. It is written in English and Paleo Hebrew. This is ours. Uh, this would make me, this makes me the first African American, the first Hebrew to publish a Bible dictionary in the United States. There were only two other dictionaries published prior to this one. One was by a jazz a musician where he only gave the definition of, of uh, slang. Uh, jazz words like jazz, and the, and, the, and the other one was an autobiography. So technically, the Negro Question Paleo Hebrew Dictionary is the first dictionary written by an African American or a black man in the United States. And, and, and uh, it's amazing that, that uh, we have our own dictionary now. You know what I'm saying, Lance? Yes, I do. This is ours, and, and even though. Even though I'm the author, this is ours. Now, uh, the brother let me come on the show. That there's a dish or well, that 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 is the highlight of, of uh, what I had to present to you guys today. But what we did, what I decided to do because of COVID, uh, initially I was going to offer. I, I created what I call I created this super core. Where I combined uh, uh, biblical history, six thousand years of Bible history. With uh, my Hebrew Arab, uh, my period Hebrew uh, teaching course that I teach, I combine those two courses together uh, to form a super course. This course is worth seven thousand dollars, but I guess what I, I, I really, yeah. So what we decided to do was uh, we, just, we just, uh, I decided to do some sampling, and so I sampled some of the uh, uh, universities in Chicago uh, history course twenty four hours. And we found out that a 24-hour history course without Paleo Hebrew, because nobody teaches that at any of these major institutions in the United States, it would be seven thousand dollars. So I said, you know what? Who can afford that? So we decided to do something rare, something I've never done. We're going to give the course for free. You can sign up for the course for free. You know, there's only one stipulation: you have to buy the dictionary, the, the Negro Question Paleo Hebrew Dictionary. You buy the dictionary. That reserves you a seat in this 12 week course. Well, what's the benefit of the course? Well, you're going to learn Bible history of Genesis uh, uh, all the way down to 2020, uh, 2021. And when you are through with this class, you will be able to read, write, and translate. Now, that's the key word there translate. Anybody, anybody can read, anybody can write. Using a paleo Hebrew alphabet. But to be able to translate, to look at a stone still, go over to the stone and translate it, that's what I'm going to teach you. And that is very rare, not only in the United States, but in the world right now. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait, 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 Lee. Lee. Yeah. Let me get this right. It's 24 hour course. But it's it's what two hours per pop for twelve or something like that. Uh, take, uh could you repeat yourself? Twenty four hour course. Yeah, it's gonna be twenty four hours over twelve. You you gonna get twenty four hours right over a twelve week period. Twelve week period, right? So that's just that's very dividable, right? I'm I'm seeing this equation, right? Right. Okay, so you this is a seven thousand dollar course, right? That's correct. And you're, and for this is, ladies and gentlemen, this is not a get the hard cover book for three hundred dollars and you get the you're taking the ride along with the course. No, 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 ladies and gentlemen, this is get the paperback for two hundred fifty dollars and you 
you get the seven thousand dollar course. The course that should cost seven thousand. Am, am I hearing this right? Yeah, that's exactly what. I, that's Ladies and exactly gentlemen, what I that's say. that's. I don't even know. I I'm I'm not good with percentages, but that's that you you with. Listen, listen, hold on. So so you're telling me. So my heritage was stolen from me. My history was stolen from me. You got all these history books of the Hebrew. And you got a $7,000 course that I don't have to pay seven. I could just pay $250 and I can get the course. dictionary. And what's going to happen is we're going to teach you. We're going to teach you all the truths that the government sponsored institutions have been have been. Uh, hiding from you because one thing about the government sponsored uh, educational uh, school system is uh, they will allow books in the classroom they will not allow the eyewitness account and there's one last thing call around to any institution in the united states pick one harvard yale none of them have a scholar present that can teach you Pale Hebrew, which is really aramaic I uh, I taught it uh, last year at uh, uh, a school, a Hebrew academy in uh, in Chicago, right outside of Chicago. I taught it to six through twelve graders, tenth grade. And by the end of the year, these sixth graders and tenth graders were able to translate. And the last document that I had them translate was the Dead Sea Scroll. Okay. So that's a serious boast that I made, and, and I can back it up. Wow, wait a second, wait a second. That means you, you, so I, you about I had babies that could, I taught babies to translate. Wow, listen, 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 listen. So, you hear so, what I'm saying? Though? I hear okay. what you're saying. See, I hear what you're saying. So you, you see the guys out there with the alphabet, they, Ali, that, you know, Camille, Dalet. Okay, this is what this is. Then they start spelling words, but you don't never see them what? Translate. You don't never right. see them walking on to a stone. In fact, I, get, I have a video of me and one of my guys going down into the Oriental Museum here in Chicago, and I went down in the museum and I started translating from the stones lack. You don't see that Ladies. because they, a lot these guys could not translate. Ladies and gentlemen, understand what's being offered here. Understand, you 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 you're, you're looking at a discount of $6,750. That's, that's a blessing, <laughs> okay? Your history stolen from you and somebody that looks like you has it in material. And you can get your history back and your, and, and your only cost, and, and, and think about this, say you don't have, say you say, okay, I don't have 250 to buy the dictionary. I got 125, but you might know somebody else that got 125. You guys get together, put your money together, buy the dictionary, and I'll allow you to sit, I'll allow you and your counterpart to sit in on the class. Bye, 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 bye. I don't have seven thousand dollars, Mr. Kobe. Hey, 250, and you're in this, right? And I'll say you got say you say you have a child that's taking history. It was uh, uh, online uh, at one of these institutions. You know it's all a lie, and you want your child to know the truth. Guess what? Sign them up for the class. Buy the dictionary. All right. So the, you, you know what? I, 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 in fact, uh, we, uh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead, sir. No, no, no. I was cutting you off. I was cutting. I'm a bad Okay. Dude. You know what we have? You know what we have? Uh, you can also, on that paperback side, you are able to go look inside and look at the structure of the dictionary. It's, it's very professional. Let's do that. Let's go over here and look at it. And if you guys are out there and you want to follow along with us, all you simply have to do is type in the Negro Question Bookstore. And once you type it in, click on that. It'll take you right into the bookstore. And then if you click on where it says Shop Now, and then you're able to go down, you'll see the, you'll see the dictionary, the paperback. Click on that. And then when you click on it, you toggle down to the bottom of the page, you're going to see the pages that I the sample pages that I put out. Is there any questions, of, uh, Lex? No, I've got it open. Okay. Let's say, uh, well, uh, I'll follow your lead. 
So uh, it says Negro Question Bookstore offering a, a free super course. And that's what we're talking about here. We are now combining the Hebrew history course with the Aramaic course to form a super course. And this is what we've been told. This is a 12-week course that covers 6,000 years of human history, plus the keys to translating ancient Paleo-Hebrew. Now, is, hey, let's. Yes, now, sir. Think about, what, think about that. Plus the keys to what? Translate. See, see, one of the problems that we have in the so-called Negro community is what? We believe everything that we read. We'll pick up a book that says what? The Latin, the Latin translation means this. The Greek translation means this. The Hebrew translation means this. How do you know? Because you didn't go behind the translator to see if what? If they're telling the truth. If you're a Bible scholar, you should be able to translate. Now, Lex, before you go any further, you know the question I always get? What do you always get? It's the question is, but what does this have to do with salvation? I said, well, think about it. If they burned every Bible in the world and you were able to translate, the Lord, the, the Most High, has his story written what? In stone. On these stones still all around the world. And guess what? In Paleo Hebrew. And guess who can't read it? The so-called scholar. And can I read it? But guess what? The Lord bless me. I can. But go ahead. Hold on, hold on. You got me daydreaming. You got me daydreaming. Some uh, some bad guy then climbed up to the top of the top of the Sears Tower, right, with with, 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 a, with, <laughs> with a match, and he's got every last papyrus ever, right? Sets him on fire. Ah, doesn't matter. Can't burn the brick, right? All right, all right. Pick it back up. You don't have to stop your quest for knowledge because the high expense has been taken down. In order to take advantage of the course, you must purchase the illustrated dictionary that comes in color uh, or the paperback. The cost is 250 for the paperback, and you can purchase it here. Now let's scroll down. It states the sample pages are at the bottom. The Negro Question Illustrated Dictionary is a book that features two books in one an illustrated dictionary and a book that teaches you how to translate aramaic the first book is an illustrated dictionary that has been created using the basic dictionary concepts of starting with the letter a and ending with the letter z you get to show more the major difference in the dictionary is that it gives you the english spelling of the word and the aramaic spelling of the word often times I provide the reader with an accurate spelling from the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Sumerian, uh, Petit, uh, Pen, excuse me, Pentiac, Moabite Stele, uh, the Kilamua, Kilamua Stele, or the Tel Dan Stele. All right, we're going to scroll down. Um, to the, we're going to go over here to the page with the copies on them. All right, hold on one second. I got one. I'm going to read this. Uh, your pub, your press release over here, so people can see. Here you have the Negro question translate. Trans well, well, the press release uh, was done. See, the press release. I didn't do the press release for the dictionary as of yet. Okay. That press release was a press release where I uh, translated the Philomore Steel and showed that the prior scholar that went in the last time. Let me back up. And put a pause on that. The last time some of these ancient stones still were translated was in 1894, 1888. There had not been any new translations. So I went back and translated the Kilimanjaro and I and I showed you that 80 percent of the information on the stone still is scholarly. Now let's let's go back to the Negro question. The Negro question is the first one. Okay. Yeah. The Negro question is the first one. You know why? They can't read the stones. It's a 39 chapter. I think the last day the Lord said they took the book and they gave it to one that was learned. And he said, read this. He said, I can't because I'm what? I'm ignorant. He took it to another one and said, read this. He said, I cannot read. And so these city stone steals have been what? They've been sealed. Well, for some inexplicable reason, but unbeknownst to me, the Lord has given me, open, has given me this gift. I can read these stones. And the Dead Sea Scrolls. And he put his knowledge in a book, and he's offering it to you, the viewer. 
But see, the the the, the press release is good. It still gives you some of your credits. It's okay. We we'll move on, and we're at the uh, the link for the super course. Now this is uh, I'm looking for the part that has the sample pages at the bottom. If this one is it. The, the first one should be, and when you, and, and there's something else you did, did you guys don't like about that big When you get to the first letter or the uh, page of Hebrew alphabet, the first page, the Alif, it will be, it's all, each each uh, section is set up like a book within itself. So you'll see a big, huge Alif, and then the second page, it goes into, uh, uh, it goes into the uh, concordance in alphabetical order. And then once you run through all the A's, the next letter uh, you'll see is the bet. And then you open that up, and then you'll see all the letter B's in concordance, so on and so forth. It's a very, it, when you see how the book is designed, uh -huh. uh, you'll be, when you open up, when you walk, when you show somebody your dictionary, whatever they got, they're going to be showing you is going to be pale in comparison. Can we look at uh, can you can you discuss uh, sample pages real quick? Yeah, the first page, uh, on, uh, the first sample uh, page, I, I already put three out there just to give, but the first one deals with it shows late fish. It's, uh, it starts out with the Hebrew Lamed, and it even gives you the sound that the Lamed makes, the love, the love sound. And then the first Name uh, uh, the first word in this uh, under the L's was Lakish, L A C H I S H. Well, you get the English spelling, and in parentheses you get the Paleo Hebrew spelling, and then it tells you it was one of the it was one of the royal cities in Judah, see Second Kings eighteen and fourteen. If I have any uh, artifacts, I say see Figure One, or see Figure Two, see Figure Three. In this particular instance, you gonna have to trust our eyes unless you guys are following along with us. You can see the uh, artifacts, the images of the, uh, the, Judea, the Judean men from Lakers. They all got nappy hair, brown skin, with beards. And uh, it gives uh, it gives a reference where you can find the uh, artifact. And then uh, from there, you go to Lamech. Lamech is next, the next word. And then, again, you get the English spelling, the Paleo Hebrew spelling, where you can find Lamech in, your, in the book of Genesis, in this case. Genesis 5 and 25. Next word, what? Leo the seal. Next word after that is Lazarus. Next word after that is Leah. But again, it, it's, uh, and then one, uh, one of the unique things about Leah was, not only do I give you the two he was spelling her name, I, I, I found her name in the Samaritan Pentateuch, and I provide that for you with the page number and the location. And the first sample page. Our second sample page that I took, that I used, you know, just so you guys can get an idea what you buy before you buy it. Uh, the first name that's mentioned uh, on this sample page is Sargon. Uh, I mean, Sarah. So we're in the, uh, we're in the Shins now. So Sarah's mentioned. And her name is spelled in English, then it's spelled in Korean Hebrew. And then it tells you where you can find it, Genesis. The 12 chapter, 13 verse, and the 17 chapter. And in figure one, on this sample page, we got a what? We got her name and what? In the Samaritan alphabet. So, this particular, this, this particular example, we got Pharaoh's name in English, we got the name in Pharaoh Hebrew, and we also got a what? In the Samaritan, the Samaritan alphabet. Then after that, you got Sargon. Then after that, you got Sargon. So, we. Well, we happen to have a validated image of Sargon. That image is on that page. So now we go down to the last sample page. And the last sample page, what alphabet is it? Let me see. P. The last sample page is P. So this starts off with Pekahia. You can find him in 2 Kings 15 and 22. That's all in the concordance. His name is in English, and his name is in Hebrew, in practice. The next name after Pika is Pelan in Persia. And then it, and when, when I give you the Persian, I give you a little, I give you a brief history that says this. Persian English, then I got the spelling in Pelio Hebrew. One of the great empires of antiquity. Their capital appears to have been Shushan in modern Iran. 
according to the Hebrew historian Josephus, the publishers were descended from Elam, the son of Shem, and then it's read to Genesis, the 10th chapter, and the 22nd verse. These Semitic people are mentioned in the book of the Parson, meaning or Persian. What is that? So what I do is throughout the dictionary, I give a I give a I give a translation of anything that I can translate accurately. And then beneath it, figure one, we got pictures of these black birds. And then to the right of it, figure two, we got a picture of the cherub angel uh, from the Babylon. So uh, if you want to take a look at it, once you guys uh, the intrigue, go to the bookstore. Okay, look inside and take a look at the structure. Uh, this is this uh, what I what I put out here was just to give you a sample, a taste of what you could possibly expect. There's nothing like this there, and I'm going to say it again. And there's nothing like this in existence right now. The Negro question. Bible dictionary. It is one of a kind, truly. And uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the scholars react to this. So, you know, I I, I got to tell you, um, this this looks pretty cool. Uh, uh, because we do a lot of research ourselves, and we deal with a lot of images that do not have, uh any kind of description attached to images so to be able to uh, uh, see this uh, and as you said even when we're looking at page two the accredited image of Sargon the second and things of that sort you know um that that, that that's that's pretty cool uh, you know I, I, I like I like how you know I've stated this uh, many times, people understand how I feel about Christianity. You know, you have a book that's, uh, you created that's non-biased, you know, it's, it covers anything that's in the uh, the Bible, whether it's the Old Testament or the New Testament, so to speak, right. or it covers the things within the Old Testament and the New Testament. So it does give uh, a researcher, even if somebody is researching, uh, there, there, uh, 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 Jesus is, it still gives the information for that. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I, 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 I like that, that it's there again. If I wanted to research, uh, to, to prove one way or the other, I still need somewhere to look for these things. So, and the great, again, the greatest thing about this is, is how you stated earlier, you know, this is a new, uh, uh, title for you. This is the first Hebrew in America to create this book. Again, most of our dictionaries, except for children's dictionaries, are set in stone. Every year we get the same brands from the same companies that give us the same load of manure that doesn't let our flowers grow for some reason. So to have something fresh or refreshing, especially from uh, a uh, trusted uh, source, and again, when I say a trusted source, I'm sitting here. Here's the Negro question. I, I really, I think uh, Mr. Cook gave it. Casey Cook gave these to us. Uh, here's the Negro question part two. Again, I have all seven books. I just, I just don't have them all around me. Here's Negro question part three. Here's a uh, Negro question part four. Here, you know, with my own money, I bought the Negro question, the seventh seal. Um, so understand, you know, uh, this isn't just like, hey, you know, I've got dark skin. Can I advertise on your channel? You know, hey, I talk a little bit of Bible, you know, about the Bible. Can I advertise a little bit? This isn't that way. This is uh, an author that that I do pull off the shelf myself now that I've been introduced to the author. Uh, uh, what a year and a half ago, and we reached out to the author, and he was nice enough to be able to uh, discuss things with us. And and again, we saw that we we don't see eye to eye, but we're 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 not that we're not we're not on different paths, so to speak. Um, and I I would ask you know I I would ask one one favor from you you know um I, I'm not, I don't get anything to 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 just uh, discuss these things to present these things uh to to the audience I don't I don't ask uh 
uh, uh, too much. You know, sometimes, you know, I'll say, hey, can you donate? But, Lee, I want to ask you for one favor. Could you do me one yeah. favor? And I know this is a strange favor. I just, I just think that, you know, maybe consider it. You are an author and you're a Hebrew author. Uh, your dark skin author, all these boxes are checked. There are other YouTubers that love your material. I learned that your material existed by listening to uh, Rhonda over at uh, 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 Truth Uncompromises, her channel, as she went over uh, Black Europe. You know, she made her series about Black Europe. You know, all I can ask is you made yourself available to discuss uh, your research with me. And, uh, you know, all these I, I can't necessarily say these people know how to get in contact with you. Um, but if they do find a way to get in contact with you, could you just consider spending some time uh, on their projects? Because, again, I learned about your existence from, from their projects. Hey man, look, if they want to, you know, my phone number, uh, my direct, my cell phone number is all the Negro question uh, website. That number that's up there, that's my cell phone number. Everybody heard that. Yeah, at the very top, that 312 number, you can get in touch with me. And uh, I would, it would behoove you. Uh, be sincere, you know, my scholarship, you want to take, see, this is, and I'm going to say this, and I'm not saying this in a, in a very uh, brash, cocky manner. There's a whole lot of people out on the internet claiming to be teachers. There's a lot of teachers in the land where there are very few scholars. And if you take this class, you will definitely be sitting with a scholar. And, uh, and I can guarantee you, you're going to come out wiser. So this is an opportunity of a lifetime. When I was coming along, we didn't have this kind of stuff. We were forced to go to the government-sponsored school system. We were forced to believe everything that them people told us. Now we got our own, we have our own professors. We got our own teachers. And now we got our own dictionary. I want, I want that to, I want, I want you to let that resonate with you. We got our own dictionary now. Webster wrote a dictionary. All these other folks wrote dictionaries. They, they know the people that wrote those dictionaries had us in mind. This dictionary, everybody in this dictionary looks the way they're supposed to look and they're validated artifact. That's the best I can do. Well, Professor Cummings, thank you for your time coming there out. You go. Thank you for letting me come on, man, for real. I'm so excited. I never... This is, I'm, I'm ecstatic for you. I, 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 well, I, hey, man, be a uh, brother, uh, and I mean this, be ecstatic for Israel, for our people, because whether they know it or not, they, they are, we are, start, we are beginning, we have flipped, we have flipped the script on the narrative. The narrative used to be in the hands of everybody that didn't look like us. You remember? Psalms 83. Everybody that, was t everybody that ran the narrative or, or contextualized the narrative. They had slanted eyes. They were uh, Hamites. They were uh, Europeans, and no, and no, no offense. I mean, anybody can tell our story, but we now we have our own dictionaries. Now we're telling what our own story. And I mean, these are exciting times, man. I mean, literally exciting times. Anything you want to say before we get out of here? No. Nah, nah. You know, uh, if, if you know me, my friends will tell you, uh, it's time for me to drink some water and eat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been talking a long time, okay? I hear that. All right. All right I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you 100%. Thanks for letting me come on your show. I mean, I mean that in a very humble way because, you know, God, the Lord has shown me, you know. Uh, All praise. You never be too high or too low. You always have to be somewhere in level playing, you know. Praise the most high. Hey, thanks for being an educator. Hey, well, hey, thank you, too. Let's, uh, and, uh, and, and, and this is another thing. Uh, well, no, I guess that's, that concludes it. But, uh, guys, get out to the bookstore, get the dictionary, get your seat, and uh, God bless you all. Tell them, everybody.